Yurko versus Lu Bu, round two, take two. Yo! Gandalf. I got him, I got him, I got him. What are you doing? Stop being a cat. Two, three, four. Hmm, okay. Five, six. I mean, I guess I'll keep this hand. So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling about this one. I guess I'll keep it. I mean, really. Uh, I lost, so... I will be on the draw then. So I'm on the play? Yeah. Ready for my turn one? Yeah. Mountain. Tap the mountain. Soul ring. Ugh. Pass. Oh my. Sunken Hollow. Enters on tap because I control two or... No, it has to be more. My bad. Control two or more basic land. So it'll be a swamp. First, read that one wrong. Uh, your turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. We're gonna tap two. And we're gonna tap two to play Lizard Blades. 1-1 one, one double strike, and you can reconfigure it to give equipped creature double yep. strike. You got your slizzards. I will pass. Draw. Okay. Island. Two. For a baleful strix. Flying death touch. When enters, I draw a card. Oh my. My turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Only have a turn. Wait, hold on. Only have a turn is going to be a mountain. I'm going to tap two. And one to play Stratoscythe. When it enters the battlefield, I search my library for a land, land card and yeah, exile it, and then I shuffle my library and I exile it on this. Yeah, it's in print, right? Yeah, it gets plus one, plus one for each land that you have on the battlefield with the same mm, name. Boy, that's gonna be fun. Um, let's go with a mountain. Still snow covered mountain. It won't just count the snow covereds. Just a weird thought I had. If you went with snow covered. And then had all snow coverage in the deck. Some people do that. Yeah. But if you just chose snow covered, it would still be mountains, so it would count all mountains. No, the same name. So it would be all snow coverage. It says the same name. Oh, uh, it says as the same name? Yeah. Oh, okay. So if you chose snow covered, wouldn't count snow uh, non snow covered. Right. Okay. Uh, so my thinking was wrong then. Yeah, still my main phase. So those one or two snow covers count again. Uh, don't count for it. How big is Bill for Strix? A two two. Uh, one one. A one one flying death touch. Yep. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Draw. An island. Four, three. It's a 
Toru Umzawa. You have uh, Reach or anything? No. Attack you for one then. 39. Your turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. How big is uh, Satoru? Satoru is 2 4. 2 4. Hmm. Can I read that card? He's nasty. Not one paragraph is nasty, but uh, I don't like reading the entirety of the paragraph. Doesn't help me in any way, shape, or form. Mm, it helps me because I get to set up for Yuriko. He's a one one. Two four. Two four. This is the one one. Right. Um. Yeah, I'll pass. Tap. Upkeep. Draw. Another island. I will swing at you with Baleful Strix. One. Becoming. Yuriko, it's still one. You activated a ninjutsu. I activated ability. Commander Ninjutsu. You can look at the top three cards of my library, put one of them into my hand, the rest at the bottom of it, uh, of my library in any order. Uh, triggers only once each turn. So, uh, top three, okay. One, two, three. Oh dear. What do I want? I think I'll take this. Uh, put one into your hand. Doesn't say reveal, so. Bottom. Then here go. Gurmag for two. And then. And that's one commander from Yoriko. Yeah. So three overall. Because Gurmag was the two. Second main phase, Aqueous Form onto her. Can't be blocked, no. Can't be blocked, and whenever enchanted creature attacks, I scry one. I am done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's ditch. Deep hours. Your turn. Can tap up, keep draw. Hmm. All right. Let's see how you like a taste of your own medicine. I'm gonna tap. There three. are no red ninjas. You got samurai though. There are plenty of red samurai. I'm gonna tap three like this. One from there. Call uh, call this red red. So I have one floating right there. Carries Zev's expertise. I'm going to gain control of target creature or vehicle until end of turn. Untap it. Oh, that phase. was when I was running this before they did the new Kamigawa. And then I may cast a card CMC 2 or less. When this was led by Vela. So it was mainly a puppet deck. So I'm going to control your Yuriko. Um, for... Um, Card CMC uh, two or less. Was it uh, until end of turn? Yes. Okay. 
for I get yeah, to cast. Everything I had was an actual enchantment. That was the problem. That's what pissed everybody off. I get to cast a card. CMC two or less from my hand. It's going to be Inquisitor's Flail. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swing at you with Yuriko for one. You have no nin. She's a ninja, right? Well, yeah, you do have a ninja. So I spin for one? Yeah. So one damage to you when I get this card? This goes to my hand, regardless. Yeah. It deals one damage to you. It's a soldier of fortune. Okay. So I would go down to 40, uh, 38, not 48. Because um, that's one from my commander and one from soldier of fortune. Second main phase... I'm going to tap one red to play the Soldier of Fortune, and I'll end my turn. Does that stay tapped? No. So it untaps during my untap? Yep. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Because <laughs> that's like three combats now in a row. Well, you know, combat, combat, proper combat again. <laughs> Now, I can play the Sunken Hollow, because I have more than two basics. I can also... Gurmag Swiftwing, Flying First Strike Haste. can also, for three... Phantom Ninja. Phantom Ninja can't be blocked. No. <laughs> it, it doesn't have ninjutsu or anything like that. It's just a ninja that can't be blocked. And then I will hit you with Yuriko for one. Oh, you were supposed to scry. I was supposed to scry? Why? Aqueous form. Oh. Well, it's unblockable, and you get to scry whenever it deals combat damage. Oh. Well, I took the card anyway, so... Okay. I just remembered it as soon as I go to hit, because it's unblockable. I would scry. I would decide if I don't like it, and then right. go again. So, that's one, at least one commander, because it's uh, it um, can't be blocked. Uh, I'll dump that. Go to the bottom. Because I don't like the scry. Then you get to do the three from Mezua. No, I did not ninjutsu. Oh, okay, right, right. Crydell. For two. Should have declared Gurmag, he has haste, but I didn't declare Gurmag, so your turn. He's a haste and fly, so. Uh, For the extra one non-commander, but I didn't say it, so your turn. Mountain. Tap six. Lubu. Oh boy. Swing for four. Four down to 34 with four. Four commander. And then I'll pass. You on top, come on. Keep nothing, draw. Okay, first to me your aqueduct. Return an island to my hand. And then for... You know what? Probably shouldn't do that right now then. So, we got blue black. Blue black there. 
for cried out. And we have blue black for a baleful strix. Uh, enters, I draw. Oh okay. Then I will attack with two, can't be blocked. One can't be blocked, so three can't be blocked immediately. Just came in. Just came in. Flying one. So uh, that was. Uh, that's four overall. And two are ninjas. I don't have arcane adaptation out. So one, two. That's three, uh, Smoke Shroud and Dark Ritual. And I cannot tap for Dark Ritual for anything right now. Mm. Didn't leave anything floating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I will ditch Ink Eyes, Servant of Oni, your turn. Untap. Upkeep, draw. Don't help me. That don't help me one bit. Alright, so the smartest way to do this, I think, to. That costs three. And that costs two. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, four. I'm gonna tap three to equip the Stratoscythe to Lobo, giving him plus one plus one for each mountain. Yep. Four. Four mountains. It's not as bad as I thought, but it's still uh, bad. That makes them an 8-8. Eight, eight. Yeah. Uh, 8, um, 7, I'm sorry. 8, 7. 3. Damn. Um, 2. To equip the lizard blade as well, reconfiguring it to give him double strike. He's a 8 7 double strike. So 16. And 4 is 20. Yeah, I'll be at 20 just shy of dead. Uh, 20, that would put me at 14 from 34. Yeah. Uh, well, no, it's only dealing 16 damage, so you'd be at, um, 18, 34 minus 16, yeah, you'd be at 18. Okay, 18, 18, that's it. Yep. Let's see if I can do it. I'm at 26. You're at 26. Let's go. Draw. Oh, that's nice. Let's get this out of the way. Black. Dark, dark ritual. So I have three black. Three black. Mirror box. All my legendary creatures now get plus one, plus one. The legendary rule does not apply to me. Hmm. So plus one, plus one to Crydow. Plus one, plus one to Satoru. Plus one, plus one to Yuriko. She is now a 2-4. He is now a 3-5. He is now a 2-4. That was for... Ritual... 
And then I will... Two, Smoke Shroud, on to Satoru. He has plus one, plus one, uh, flying. So now he has plus two, plus two. He is a four, six, and flying. Going all out here, huh? <laughs> Gotta try. My land per turn is this island. Because I didn't land per turn. I did last time. It was the bounce land. Mm -hmm. That's why I had the land. And then... Oh, I have this. So for three... Loyal subordinate. I'm gonna go to combat and my commander's out. Three damage automatically to you. With one blue floating. Ooh. Okay. The only thing summoned this turn is the subordinate and he has lieutenant. Correct? Correct. Okay. So Two from Crydell because of the box. So we're entering combat right yes. now? Yes. And you control your commander. Three damage to me immediately. Three to you immediately because I... Yep. All right. Now you're doing... Swing at me with... Yep. And the mirror box is in effect. So every, all my legendaries get plus one, plus one. So he, he gets two. He gets plus one, so he's two. He gets another plus one, plus one because of the shroud. So he's four. So that's six already. He can't attack. That would be seven. That would be eight. Going to attack with her would be ten. Because of the box. Yep. That would make it twelve. He can't be blocked. Can't be blocked. Flying. Flying. Twelve. If you're taking it all. Um... Uh, I don't have the extra one. I can pay to make him unblockable. But when Baldur, uh, Crydell Baldur's Gate deals combat damage to a player, that player loses one life, mills a card, and mills a card, and then I gain a life and scry one. So now I'm at 19. 11. I lose his life. I'm at 10. Uh, I, I mill a card? No. Yep. Do I discard one as well? I don't think so. Lose one life and mills a card, then I gain a life and I scry one. Alright. Uh, no. Nothing on him. You also get a scry one from the. No, yep, from the Aquan. Aquan. And That's yeah, before that's right. you spin from. Yeah, so. Uh, I'm just looking for any other on hit. Is all your scrying out of the way? I will say so, and that is one, two, three ninjas that hit. All right, so in response to you having scryed already, I'm going to tap one red mana in my Soldier of Fortune to make you shuffle your library. Oh, okay, well... You can do that instant speed? Yeah. Okay. And I definitely want to cut it because it, <laughs> I'm at 10 life. That would work if I had the Ashiok out. Because that says can't search. I'm uh, making a shuffle. Yeah. I was just thinking. Because I have that Ashiok. <laughs> it really messes with Joe and his get rog and other stuff because he needs to go searching. Alright, this is the way we'll do it. That one will be the top card. How okay. many are you doing now? How many ninjas hit me? One, two, three. Satoru is a ninja. Correct, human ninja. Three. Yeah, three. He's a rogue. Bird bat. One. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think you screwed yourself, to be honest. Elbrus. How much? Seven. How much? Lightning Greaves for two. Nine. Library of Flying for one. 
That's enough to kill me. <laughs> GG. <laughs> you screwed yourself.